the Land Public Transport Commission, or SPAD, is optimistic about the growth and opportunities of public transportation systems in Malaysia. One of the Commission's efforts in enhancing Malaysia's public transportation system is introducing a new stage bus service in Kangar, Kuala Chunganu, Ipoh, Kuching and Seremban next year. Chairman of SPAD, Tan Sui Said Hamid Albar said that there will be many opportunities for the bus stage system to expand. But these are not limited to these five cities. But as a, a start of project, the government gives us allocation. The model is going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, seamless. It's going to use uh, operator base. We'll tender it to the operator that give the best. And then we'll pay to them based on kilometer. Eh? And then uh, the uh, public, they will, whatever is collected is going to be part of SPAD punya reimbursement to SPAD for spending the money paying the bus companies. Through the Interim Stage Bus Support Fund, ISBF, 400 million ringgit was allocated in January 2012 to help stage bus operators by paying for the loss of routes. Other efforts to enhance the public transportation systems are the MRT system, expanding and adding more cars to the Klanajaya and Ampang LRT lines, development of the LRT3 line, and many more. SPAD is also confident about the public transportation development opportunities in greenfield lands between the east and west coast of Peninsular Malaysia. The west coast is very well covered eh, on intercities. We have improved our lines, our double track have completed up to Padang Besar and we hope to start the service on ETS to Padang Besar by next year. So that, that one we'll be covering. And Johor is the next one, Gemas to uh, Johor Bahru. Eh? Gemas to Johor Bahru, we need to build and upgrade and also on a double track thing. The government has given the allocation, so we hope that side will be. But if you look at the East Coast, we only, uh, we have got from East Coast, we have got Waka Bahru to Gemas to Kuala Lumpur. And these are old lines. But in between uh, East to West, they still greenfield. Yeah. Apart from that, the SPAD chairman said that they have been looking into the suggestions of the public to develop trams as a means of intercity transport. SPAD aims to achieve a 40% model share in public transport by 2030 from the current 20%. She and Shannon, the HTV.